What up, grinders and granddads? It's your boy, The Black Abstract. You're locked in once again. I appreciate you. What I want to talk about today is a show that I stumbled upon. I was watching Amazon video, Amazon Prime video, and uh, I was looking for something to watch. I was caught up on like FBI and all the little other lame shows I watch. So I kept coming across the show Invincible. They had the ad at the top, and I read the synopsis for it, and it was like uh, young superheroes, Grayson, uh, has to come into his cell pretty much. Uh, his father's already a superhero, so he has to like take over. And the animation I saw was uh, similar to kind of like Young Justice, and I'm like, oh, let me give it a try. So I tried to watch it, and um, you know, I was watching it, and I was like, okay, yes, this this kind of remind this reminds me of Young Justice. Uh, if you had never watched Young Justice, it's probably like the best animated series of all time. The first two seasons before they ruined it with the third season. But uh so I'm watching it and they're doing kind of parodies of DC uh superheroes as well as Marvel. So I'm like, okay, I see what they're doing. Um Omni Man is Superman, obviously. And uh I'm like, all right, it's cool. It's not nothing crazy, but boy, I watched it at the end and I was like, Whoa, this is nuts. Uh and then I continue to keep watching and keep watching it and, and uh Upon watching it, I was I was I had a couple of different emotions. One, I was I was disappointed, and then I was also excited because I had something new to look forward to. And the disappointment didn't come from the show; it actually came from uh, my friends. The fact that none of my friends or even my subscribers told me about the show, so I, I was just I don't know. I felt kind of betrayed. Um, I just, I was, yeah, I felt a little betrayed. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, no, I'm joking. But uh, <laughs> this show is like good as fuck. It's, it's like every week it gets progressively better. You know, last week kind of was like a filler episode, but it still had, um, it still had meaning. Uh, and it showed it in today's episode. It, it's. The the monsters that were he was fighting in the last episode were prevalent or re- relevant for today's episode, and I'm like, dude, like this show is like crazy. So it made me go back and and look up like the comics because I didn't know about the comics. I'm not really a comic dude. Um, I know you know I'm not current comics and shit. I I used to watch, read old comics, skim over them. My uncle used to have a stash of comics. I would read his stuff, but I didn't own any because I was poor. And um, I was uh, I started going back doing my history of the show, cause I wanted to kind of understand what was going on, and I'm one of them people that watch movies, and and I would be midway through a movie and just Wikipedia and read the synopsis and spoil it for. I don't know why I do that. I spoil movies for myself, but I wanted to see the history of Omni Man and exactly what was going on because the show hasn't given us um an exact reasoning for what he's doing. And uh, I'm just so impressed with the storyline of the show, and it's, and I know, the, I know, like, I know I'm not the only one that deal with this. Uh, some people or friends or significant other be like, "Why are you watching cartoons?" And you're like, "This is not a cartoon. It's an animated series. It's a difference. It's not a cartoon. Tom and Jerry is a cartoon. This is an animated series. This is just like a movie. It's just." animated. Don't do that. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But uh yeah, I haven't been this invested I don't think in an animated series uh and besides Young Justice, which I said, if you haven't seen the first two seasons of Young Justice, you could watch them. That's one of those that's one of those shows first two seasons I could watch just back to back over and over. It's kind of like Back to the Future with me. One and two. I could just watch those all day over and over. I could just have them playing in the background. I just never get tired of it. Uh, but this show, man, it's great. Uh, this week's episode, another great episode, man. The fact that uh, Omni-Man is just relentless, man. He is ruthless. He don't give a fuck. He is by far probably my favorite character. And I know that's weird because he's a villain, per se, but he's a fucking beast, man. <laughs> this dude is crazy. Uh, I just, I, I'm just happy that I found this, and I just wanted to. Want, I was just 
really curious, like, how come I never heard of the show? So I've been watching YouTube videos of people reviewing it. And uh, I was going to do, like, trying to do a review, but uh, I just got so much respect for the people that are reviewing it, that, that know in depth, that do great reviews on these. I feel like I could, I wouldn't even do it justice uh, giving it a review. I mean, I, I could talk about it. But uh, if you haven't seen the show, I definitely recommend checking it out on Amazon. Uh, you won't be disappointed if you're into that type of stuff. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the show. Post your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Until next time or next week, peace, love, prosperity. One.